It's a big delegation, so we're really proud to be able to realise that because of the, the multi-year planning that we've been doing um, proves that our structure is correct and um, that how we've had some really nice results and being able to peak and realise and confirm our places for the Olympics through the World Championships and also coming off the back of a very heavy winter so for the track uh, riders it wasn't an easy selection to realize um, very competitive countries um, for example if we had to we had to be in the top six countries for Europe to qualify and uh, Germany have fallen out of the top six uh, just to give an example of the, the type of pedigree that we have to we're competing against so we're very very happy that we're, we've confirmed our place and with a young team so that's uh, it's very positive. Jolien uh, daughter will be the Omnium representative for Belgium. Um, and she's a, a strong candidate. She proved her qualities, her strengths, her, her talents by being Belgium champion now on the road as well. Um, so she has she has a, ma a massive future. Um, she's had uh, she has heavy studies as well, which we've had to split up now and just concentrate purely on her qualification for the Olympics. Um, so when when the Olympics are, are finished, she will go back into her uh, last two years of um, physiotherapy. Um, but it's um, it's very positive for her. She really confirmed her her status really and 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 how she's with her place at the Olympics, which is uh, which is a fantastic opportunity for her now to to experience that and then uh, and build further from it. So that's excellent. And the second Omnium rider is also confirmed. That's Hayes Vanuka, also. A massive talent, um, a boy that can go a long way in cycling, not just on the track but on the road as well. He's um, certainly got a lot of professional qualities about him, um, has a lot of talent, um, but just not only just physical, but mental qualities as well, uh, which is really nice to see them coming through. He has a lot of strength and depth uh, for being such a young rider. Hayes will be a member of the team in the team pursuit. Well, it's also an underdog team. It has a lot of qualities in it. Um, it's also a team that's um, gelled really well together now. We haven't been such so long together as the, this team, this unit, but we have a lot of strength and depth qualities of experience with Dominic Cornu, for example. Um, and then Kenny Ducato with his track qualities. And um, we, we, I think we've, we've grown really well onto the world stage of team pursuit. In 2008, they took away the Madison, whereas we've just uh, realised being world champions in Madison with Hayes Vanuka and Kenny De Ketler. So there's there's a big disappointment for us. Also, the points race has been taken away. Uh, we had a lot of qualities in, um, in as a team for the other disciplines, so we've had to come down and, and really look at uh, the type of riders, the rider profiles that we have, and we've had to build on the back of that uh, to produce real more uh, team pursuit athletes, so that's, uh, it, was, it was quite a challenge um, to get that right, but uh, we're, we're, we're well on track and that's, that's good. I think that uh, cycling gets a good press, but it also gets a hard press as well, so I think that uh, they're quite, they're well targeted, and that's also sometimes not fair. And then also then, for example, when we have a young team that really do very well on the World Championships like we have done now, or a European, there's not so much attention. It could be better, it could be more. Um, especially when you see Anglo-Saxon countries, they're much, much more positive and I mean, promotional aspects of their athletes. It's going to be important, of course, tactics. So if there's a breakaway, it always has to be a Belgium in it. Normally, with the quality of riders that Belgium have, that's not going to be a problem to have somebody in the break. Um, and then just understanding of being honest, um, who has the best legs on the day to to ride for him. And yeah, normally it should should work out. I think. It might be Tumbo. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you see how he can dominate races when he's good um, and he's uh, focused on a goal, I think it's uh, really a realistic chance, absolutely. Yeah. I think that the women's team has uh, g good chances because of the type of uh, athletes that they've uh, gelled together now. I think that uh, if you see how Michael Polspel has uh, come on and strengthened that the last year, there's massive gains that she's made. To be able to take the pressure off um, the, for example, Lisbeth, they can can be more e at ease in the in the peloton, and that's very important for lady, with ladies racing. So, yeah, I think that um, the team will be will be strong and do well. Everybody knows the qualities of Svenneis, um 
and I think that um, I think that it could be a good opportunity for him if we see how what um, and what extreme circumstances he had to race in Beijing in 2008, and he realised the ninth place. Um, so I can see and now, obviously, with the start places, start order is different than in a World Cup. Um, so I think that Sven Nays makes a massive chance um, to to score high in the uh, Olympic uh, mountain bike. Yeah. Kevin has a um, he's really proved himself this year. He's very strong, very determined, also and motivated. Yeah, Kevin um, he has nothing to lose at the Olympics. This will be the first Olympics for him, so I think he can learn a lot from a teammate like Sven Nays also uh, going into the race. So I think it's uh, yeah, I think he can make a a good, a good chance. Let's say that for in the top 50, 15, I think we have to be realistic with Kevin the first time on the Olympics, and mm -hmm. I think he's. Uh, but I think it could be an interesting uh, tactic um, for Sven Nays also. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, if Sven is caught out, but something has to be brought back. It could be interesting opportunity. So, let us say at this stage that everybody's on track and doing well um, for their targets for the Olympics and. Let's, let's hope that they have a lot of good luck and and, and then they can perform uh, really at the top of and and hopefully uh, realize something really nice.